Hello, my name is Todor Plachko from MCAT Bulgaria and today I will show you several things about new features about Autodesk Inventor 2040. Some of them are really productive, very uh, very good and I'm sure it's, it will be useful for you. Let's start with the connect command or the command uh, uh, you will use to create joints. Uh, or relations, relationships. Right now in Inventor mm, the connection of the constraints are uh, like uh, relationships and you decide how uh, the two details you are connecting, how they uh, move each other. Let's say uh, that this spacer must be rigid or uh, mm, welded to the spacer and, and then that's why we select the, uh, the spacer, we select the the, the housing and we say that they are in rigid joint between. Also to the, we'll do the same thing with the second spacer. The same thing as you see you can the command is similar to the assemble command which uh, were presented in the previous version of Inventor. I think the last two versions has uh, it's this command assemble. Also, you can maybe you notice that when you um, cross with your mouse with the cursor around the part which is grounded, there's a, a certain symbol uh, <coughs> which you can see. Next one, let's uh, let's see uh, the next uh, joint, which is uh, a bow joint, and uh, you select the center of one uh, cylindrical or a spherical face let's say or surface and you select the second one and you create this kind of uh, uh, bow uh, joint. Uh, let's continue with uh, disassembling. Next uh, one it's right here of course you have uh, yeah, you have to change sometimes you have to change the direction it's not and you create a rotational a joint between um, the bow and the housing. Uh, if you want to see, I will create such a joint between uh, the nut and the housing, and you will see how this how it works. Let me select this one also. As you see, uh, there's animation that uh, shows you uh, how the this uh, joint works. Uh, and uh, let's see the rotational joint works like this. Uh, there is an you can see how it works. It's very it's very easy way, very easy way to create joints between your parts. I think uh, they are much more uh, easier to use. Uh, of course, the relations relationships are in the browser. And when you pass with the cursor, you can see it in the, the graphic window. Uh, also, uh, there is something new in this uh, part. There is a free move command in this uh, in the assemble. A free move command. You can see. You can um, let's say uh, remove the relationships between your details only visually. You. You don't you don't suppress them you don't delete them or something like this you just uh, grab a detail and move it so you can uh, create something uh, you can um, open the detail or do some uh, additional work on the detail whatever you want the idea of course is to uh, uh, is uh, for easier access to some of the parts and when you press the local update button. Everything uh, comes in, uh, goes to a normal way. Uh, so every relationships, uh, relationships uh, is now uh, on uh, in the assemble. One thing that I'm sure you will like is the thing that you now you can copy the constraints between details. Let's see how it, this was in the previous version, Inventor 2013. I copied the assemble command right click paste it and as you see there there aren't any constraints copied 
with um, uh, in the, with the new details. Let's see how is an Inventor 2014. There is the asse the uh, assembly, many connections or uh, constraints. I select all the whole uh, ass assembly, right click, copy, and then right click, paste. And as you can see, every constraint is, uh, have also been copied and pa paste. Uh, and uh, of course they have a different name, different uh, number after it, but it remains uh, in the assemble. Next thing is for people or companies that are using uh, a larger assemblies. In the uh, application option and assembly tab, there is an option here, here, uh, express mode. And uh, you can open, an, with an express mode, you can open an assembly. Uh, let's say it less hard for your uh, hardware. Uh, right now, the express mode started when you uh, use uh, when you your assemble has more than 500 uh, unique details. That's the default uh, number. And uh, for this particular assemble, I I need it. Uh, uh, around 15 seconds to open. Right now I will change that number and I will set it 300. The the assembly was with 480. I opened it and as you can see there are uh, I there were around four, five four seconds to open this uh, uh, particular assembly. Next thing I want to show in Inventor 2014. Uh, is uh, the, the fillet command. It has some new options. Uh, as you know in the previous versions, when you create a fillet with two more edges, when there is a fillet you cannot uh, execute, there were an error and you, you can't uh, finish the command. Right now, if there are edges that cannot be fillet, cannot be done fillet on them, you just uh, receive a message that Inventor says you cannot, uh, I will create the, the other ones. Right, in the sweep command, there is also some new things. Let's create a sweep in the previous version of Inventor, Inventor 2013. As you see, you cannot create such a, uh, such a sweep because there are some uh, intersects, intersections, of course the profile will intersect uh, uh, in the rounded corners of this uh, uh, square. But in Inventor 2014, when you create this step, the same sketch, everything is the same. And when you create this sweep, as you see, there is a preview. And of course, when you, you, when you press OK, there will be uh, a solid... Uh, so, in Inventor 2014, you can create sweeps with intersect where... Uh, Profile intersects each other. In the 2D sketch, there are, there is new commands, or let's be precise, five new commands for, for creating slots. And uh, these commands, uh, you can create a, any type of slots you you wish, uh, based on what you have uh, for um, for uh, start parameters. Uh, slots with uh, centers uh, and width and uh, or through arc or uh, with many uh, or with uh, arc with uh, which is uh, defined by uh, three points or by center point different ways of for creating such a uh, let's say not so complex geometry but uh, in the past this geometry to create this geometry uh, you have to to draw at least five minutes let's say and of course as you see uh, when you type uh, some of the dimensions they after uh, creating the slot they are also they are also created and uh, 
uh, they become of course parameters which you can uh, control uh, and, and as you know if you your experienced inventor user you know that uh, many of the many of the dimension are uh, very hard to create with the command dimension when it's easier when you create the same the such a, a complex figure of geometry another new thing in inventor 2014 is the ability to split tables or uh, which are specifications just right click on the row you want to split in the table and split the table and as you see a new table is created very useful and of course uh, it's there aren't any geometry connection between of course there are connections numbers or positions or things like that but you can move the, the table next thing uh, the, or the last thing I want to show you is the uh, this, this site which you can uh, use to uh, suggest some new things you want to see in Inventor in the next version. Of course, they are starting to work on this. You can see the site in the lower part of the screen. You, if you have suggestions or some questions to me, you can uh, you can ask uh, during uh, using email or a call us. Uh, there are many information on our site. You can check it every day.